A nuisance is a noise, smell, or other obnoxious trait that interferes with someone's use and enjoyment of property. Courts often issue injunctions to stop nuisances. But what if a nuisance was there long before the person complaining about it arrived on the scene? A confectioner who'd spent decades making loud thumping noises in his workshop and a newly arrived doctor who couldn't hear himself think explored this question in Sturges v. Bridgman. Frederick Horatio Bridgman was confectioner to Queen Victoria. For 60 years, the Bridgman family had operated their candy kitchen in a back room of their house. Part of this confectionery operation involved pounding loaf sugar in two large marble mortars installed in the brick wall at the back of the building. Dr. Octavius Sturgis was an expert in children's respiratory diseases who lived around the corner from Bridgman's house. In 1873, Sturgis built a consulting room at the back of his house, intending to see patients in this space. This structure shared a wall with the back wall of Bridgman's kitchen. Unfortunately, Sturgis hadn't realized how loud his fancy new room would be. Every day, between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m., Bridgman pounded sugar with large wooden pestles. This pounding created a prodigious noise. Sturgis couldn't hear his patients' heartbeats and generally couldn't think straight while the thumping was going on. Sturgis sued Bridgman. He asked the master of the rolls for an injunction stopping Bridgman from using his mortars. The court agreed that the noise of the mortars constituted an actionable nuisance unless Bridgman had acquired a right to impose the inconvenience. Bridgman argued that he'd acquired a prescriptive right to use the mortars through his decades of using them in that space. He argued that Sturgis could have avoided the noise and vibration by building his consulting room with a separate wall. The master of the rolls disagreed that Bridgman had acquired a prescriptive easement and granted Sturgis the injunction. Bridgman appealed to the High Court of Justice Court of Appeal. 